Good Thursday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to tonight's top stories, let's take a look outside our weather window. And boy, the clouds really began to roll in about lunchtime or so. Here you see shower activity in the upper valley. That's around. That's from our Stein Hill uh, SkyFi Tower camera. And showers have been happening all afternoon around north central Washington. Even some thunderstorm activity isolate around the area. And that could continue until about mid midnight tonight. We could see brief downpours some small hail and even some wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour. So if you are outdoors tonight, keep your eye on the sky. We'll have more weather coming up a little bit later on. Now a few of the news stories we're following for you tonight. Brewster police are looking for a man and woman suspected of stealing a donation box from a convenience store last night. The family of a Moses Lake woman who police say was murdered in March is offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to her body being found. And the Wenatchee School District held a gang awareness conversation with local law enforcement, and we'll tell you more about that. But first, our top story tonight, investigators probing the May 7th gunfire incident in which a man was shot to death by police have identified the slain man and the officers involved. 36-year-old Alexander James White of East Wenatchee was named as the man who fired a handgun into Living Hope Community Church on North Chelan Avenue shortly before 8.30 that morning. Three Wenatchee police officers who arrived on the scene fired their own handguns, killing White. The officers are Corey Fuller, Brian Hewitt, and Ali Mustaine. Hewitt received a leg injury, although investigators have not said how that injury in occurred. In a video of the incident, White did not appear to fire his own pistol at police before he was fatally shot. No word yet on any motive in the initial gunfire. All three police officers remain on administrative leave while the multi-agency special investigation unit reviews that case. Brewster police are looking for a man and a woman suspected of stealing a donation box from a convenience store last night. The Quickie Mart on Highway 97 said the Samaritan Riders donations were intended for a sick child. Surveillance images from the store's camera show the man and woman entering the store and making purchases at the counter where the donation box had been placed. Anyone with information is asked to contact Brewster Police at 509-689-2331. In other news, the family of a Moses Lake woman who police say was murdered in March is offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to her body being found. Yanira Sedeos has been, been, been gone since she was out celebrating her 30th birthday with friends on March 3rd. Then on March 10th, her former boyfriend, 27-year-old Juan Truillo Gastelum, was arrested in Hermiston, Oregon for second-degree rape and second-degree murder in her disappearance. Moses Lake Police said Gastelum had been repeatedly been trying to contact Sedios the night of her disappearance, asking her where she was and who she was with. Police believe Gastelum killed Sedios in her Moses Lake apartment and say he was seen on video the next morning cleaning out his car and disposing of evidence. The family is asking anyone with information on the whereabouts of her body to contact the Moses Lake Police Department at 509-764-3887. Well, in a community meeting on youth gang activity in the Wenatchee Valley, local police last night said the problem is concerning, but residents should not live in fear. The meeting convened by the Wenatchee School District involved Wenatchee and East Wenatchee police agencies, as well as juvenile justice and diversion experts. Police say local youths are adapting gang culture as young as middle school and gang affiliations have contributed to shootings and armed robberies in the last year. And I wish we would have done this earlier on. It's a very small percentage of, of the youth in, the, in our school. So between the two districts and Dr. Gordon, correct me if I'm wrong, about 16,000 kids between the two districts and only East Ranch has 5,800. If just doing some quick math with the chief up here, we're talking less than a percentage, less than one percentage of our kids that are displaying this type of behavior. So we're not being overrun with gang members. We're just seeing some alarming things in our valley, and we want to keep that a real small percentage, right? 
we're seeing them claim territories. That's new for us. It, it, uh, not that we have a lot of territories. We'll just hear gang members that we on a contact will refer to as that's our park. And we're like, that's a new thing. We hadn't heard that before. Do I think Eastmont Park is a dangerous park? Absolutely not. I take my kids there. I go there. And it's these just baby steps. It's starting to work. And I believe in it. We just got to keep devoting time, patience, and um, keep talking with them one day at a time and showing up for them every day. Showing up for them every day as a parent, teacher, me being present there, and all our resources here in the Valley connecting and communicating. When we come back, consultants working for the Wenatchee School District are wrapping up their report on the district's equity program. 2022's wildfire season has yet to begin, but wildfires of the past are still posing a risk in some areas of Okanagan County. Wildlife biologists will soon use high-flying methods to catch up with one of Washington's ground-dwelling species. And the Two Rivers Medieval Fair opens at the Chelan Fairgrounds this weekend. I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. The Lake Chelan Rotary Club invites you to experience the newly expanded Cycle Chelan held June 25th, 2022. Pick your thrill from four rides, the Century Challenge, Cycle Divino, the Lake Loop, or the Butte Blast. All profits from Cycle Chelan are used to support student scholarships of the Lake Chelan Rotary Club. Cycle Chelan 2022, pick your thrill today. The best pizza in the known universe is right here in downtown Chelan, so come on up. For the best locally crafted beer and barbecue in Chelan, come on up. For the best down-home craft country cooking in North Central Washington, you'll find it in Manson. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa has hot tubs in stock now. Spas are scientifically proven to improve sleep and ease arthritis pain. Let us help you find the perfect spa today. Blue Lagoon Pool and Spa is helping families reconnect one hot tub at a time. Welcome back. In another news, consultants working for the Wenatchee School District are wrapping up their report on the district's equity program, which aims to close the gaps in learning opportunity created by race, gender, and other factors. The research firm Education Northwest surveyed more than 3,000 students, families, and educators as part of their overview. Consultants told the school board on Tuesday they expect to turn over a final report on Washington School District equity efforts next month. As we have begun analyzing our survey and intergroup in interview and focus group data, we've been fielding a lot of calls and emails from the community to share feedback on surveys. And we have been listening to all of it with great interest. And um, I'm just really commend the community for taking those steps to reach out to us from whatever perspective that may be, we've heard a wide range of feedback ranging from just uh, you know delight and, and em emphasizing the importance of this work to uh, some family members who have some real concerns about the data collection and about the kind of general direction of the equity review. And so all of that has been valuable uh, and we are really trying to take a listening stance and a learning stance so that we can incorporate what we're learning into our analysis and our reporting. We've had very strong response rates for, for our surveys with uh, 1,825 complete student surveys, 823 complete family member surveys, and 446 complete educator surveys. And that includes both uh, English and Spanish for students and family members. We just closed those surveys today, so I'll be able to break down those response rates uh, a little bit more with, uh, with a little bit of time. Can we confirm that those are from family uh, community members that are residing within the Wenatchee School District? 
because of the way we set up our data collection to be collecting as minimal per personally identifiable information as possible, you know, we want to protect, protect privacy by not collecting names, not conducting a sort of a verification process. Um, you know, there, there is a certain amount of trust that we have to give to the community uh, when we put data out here uh, and collect it back. So I, you know, most of the, the people that I've actually spoken with on the phone have been sharing, you know, personal stories about their students and about their experiences. 2022's wildfire season is yet to begin, but wildfires of the past are still posing a risk in some areas of Okanagan County. The Department of Fish and Wildlife announced today it's closing campgrounds and sections of road in Okanagan County owing to erosion danger and fire damage dating back to 2015. One mile of road in the Sinlahican Wildlife Area is closed due to damage remaining from the 2015 Okanagan Complex fires. Also closed are three campgrounds in the Methow Wildlife Area. The department says those campgrounds are in a drainage that could see big washouts after the 2021 Cub Creek Fire. No date for reopening has been set. Wildlife biologists will soon use high-flying methods to catch up with one of Washington's ground-dwelling species. Starting Monday, the State Department of Fish and Wildlife will use a drone to collect data on Washington ground squirrels in Grant and Adams counties. They'll be flying over public land to monitor the burrowing animals which live in sage steppe country and are among the state's vulnerable species. The drone survey is expected to go on no more than two days. The aim is to study how effective drone observation might be to collect data for wildlife studies. Well, after a two-year hiatus in which a plague stalked the land, the Two Rivers Medieval Fair returns this weekend to the Chelan County Expo Center in Kashmir. The Renaissance Festival began as a family fun event in 2008, usually held at Wenatchee Valley College. The event has since grown with about 30 vendors and 2,000 attendees each year, featuring archery, jousting, medieval-themed tournaments, and games. It's a $10 ticket for people 13 and up with a discount for seniors and free admission for kids 5 and under. Costumes are optional. The fair starts at 10 a.m., both days. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Please stay with us. What is home? A place to gather, a place to grow, provide shelter for the ones we love, eat, drink, restore, build trust. It's a place to rest when the work day is done. A place to find quiet after a night of good fun. What an honor we have at Guild to help own, finance, create, pave the way to live in home. Spring is more than just a time to clean. It's your time to renew, recharge, and spend time with the people you love. At Merry Maids, our cleaning services go beyond the basic services and provide you with a comprehensive clean that will re-energize your home and enhance your life. From everyday routine cleaning or deep cleanings, Merry Maids professional team members can provide you with an unrivaled experience. Call Merry Maids to schedule your cleaning today. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. Time now for our weekly Pause for Pets feature from the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. Tonight, we're introduced to a dog dog named Balto.
Hello, I'm Jenny. I'm the volunteer coordinator here at the Wenatchee Humane Society. And today I have with me just over a year old Balto. Um, Balto has been here for a while. He's a little stressed about being here for a while because Balto's dream home is actually to be with somebody that wants to take him on lots of adventures, spend a lot of time with him. He absolutely loves people. Um, he does go to play group with our sweet Paloma um, and he's in the rough and rowdy play style. So his play style doesn't really match um, a whole lot of dogs, but he and Paloma are best friends and they play um, pretty fun together. But Balto's real dream is just to actually be with somebody, um, somebody that wants to fine tune his training. He's learned a lot here. He's super treat motivated. Um, he's a young guy and he is so wanting to please. We absolutely adore Balto. He's so sweet. He's good natured. Um, again, just a fun guy. And, and if you have it in you to, to take on some further training with him, I think he's going to be pretty amazing. The Wenatchee Valley Humane Society is located at 1474 South Wenatchee Avenue and is open 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and closed 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. for quiet hour. Give them a call at 509-662-9577 or visit their website at WenatcheeHumane.org. Let's take a check now of your North Central Washington weather forecast. Hope your Thursday was a good one. We had a little bit of sunshine this morning and then this cloudiness moved in on us this afternoon. This is a shot from this afternoon from our SkyFi tower camera up on Wenatchee Heights. We call it the cross camera. We did see some shower activity and thunderstorm activity around the area. We'll talk more about that in a second, but didn't get very warm today. 57 our unofficial high temperature. That's well below 7. 71 where we should be this time of year. 98, our record high, that was set back in 1993. As far as lows go, it's pretty much right in the ballpark. 46 this morning, 48 is our normal, and 32 our record back in 1985. Sunrise, 528, and the sun sets for us tonight at 827. Let's take a peek now at your Friday temperatures. Yes, finally Friday, and things will be a lot like today, but maybe not so much rain in the forecast tomorrow. Lower 60s, 61 in the Columbia Basin for Quincy, Afreda, and Moses Lake. And then as we get back into some higher elevations, a little cooler temperatures, 59 in Wenatchee, 57 the high in Leavenworth tomorrow and you folks in Chelan you might touch on 60 degrees for your afternoon high taking a look at the surface loop tonight showers and thunderstorms are possible throughout the evening little area of low pressure right here is fueling some of that we're seeing warm moist air overriding the cold air that we've had in place and that kicking off some of that thunderstorm activity increasing clouds for Friday will stay unseasonably cool high temperatures for Friday only in the upper 50s, so a lot like today for at least the Wenatchee Valley. For Saturday, maybe some morning showers. That's as we get going in the morning. Afternoon, just scattered shower activity, mostly cloudy skies. Not bad temperature-wise with highs in the low to mid 60s. As we get you into Sunday, a little bit of a ridge moving up the Pacific Northwest. We could see some late day showers though on Sunday. High temperatures even a little bit warmer in the mid to upper 60s. Notice the orange colors and that indicates 70s. We'll see that in the Tri-Cities on Sunday. And then for Monday, partly cloudy and dry. A break from the wet weather. It will be mild with high temperatures in the upper 60s on Monday. We might even see 70 here in the Wenatchee Valley. Mostly cloudy then for Tuesday. It will be cooler once again as we go back to more of a northwesterly flow and a trophy situation with highs only in the mid 60s for Tuesday. And finishing up our forecast on Wednesday, ugh, cloudy, rain likely and cool. We're going to be lucky to even see 60 degrees with all of this rain statewide because of this little area of low pressure. Let's take a look now at your seven day forecast tonight. It's going to get a little bit cool. 36 overnight tonight, 59 tomorrow, 63 with rain showers on Saturday, maybe a few evening showers Sunday and 67. It looks like Monday, our best day, 68 with partly cloudy skies, 64. 
24. Then on Tuesday, mostly cloudy. And yeah, rain likely on Wednesday with high temperatures around 61. And that's a look at your local weather forecast. Coming up next, tonight's sports report with Eric Grandstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. Traditional values and innovation in honoring the life of each family we serve is part of the ministry of Heritage Memorial Chapel. Our staff is committed to walk with your family with compassion through this time of grief. We are here to help and here to serve the right kind of help when you need it most. Heritage Memorial Chapel. At D.A. Davidson in Wenatchee, they believe your investment success begins with a personalized plan. A plan that is the roadmap you need to navigate your way to living your best years in retirement. D.A. Davidson can help you create a plan so you can take the time to enjoy the finer things in life. Let the financial advisors at D.A. Davidson help chart your retirement future today. And now it's a sports update on the NCW Live channel. And a happy Thursday. The Mariners finished a disappointing homestand on a losing note yesterday, falling to Philadelphia 4-2 at T-Mobile Park. Logan Gilbert lost for the first time this season, allowing a grand slam home run, which was all the Phillies would need to win the game. Hard hit in a left field for a base hit. Frazier being waved in. The throw from Schwarber, not close. Julio puts the Mariners on the board. One nothing, bottom of the third. Well, you had to believe this was going to be a really good matchup for him. That's a changeup out over the plate. And the reason why is with Julio, we showed his spray chart earlier, so many hits into right field, right center field on the fastball that he has squared up. The exit below has been excellent this year. So because of that, it keeps him on the changeup just long enough to drive it through the left side of the infield. Not throw for a strike. And a line drive out toward left field, toward the corner, toward the pole. It is gone! A bullet grand slam for Reese Hoskins. He smoked it. And the Phillies are on top four to one here in the top of the fourth inning. And that baby got out of here in a hurry. Yeah, it did. Five home runs now for Reese. The other way on the ground for a base hit. Delamore is coming home. Castellanos, his throw is not in time. And the Mariners get their second run today. Fly ball, center field, pretty well hit. Roman Quinn going back, plenty of room, makes the catch, the ball game is over. Seattle now begins a brutal stretch of 13 games in 13 days beginning tomorrow with the first of a 10-game road trip in New York against the Mets. After three in New York, the Mariners will play three in Toronto and then four games in Boston before finally coming home May 23rd to host the Athletics. Well, today features the semifinals in the District 6 2B baseball playoffs. The game's underway. Liberty Bell, the surprise team of North Central Washington this season, hosting Okanagan. That's the uh, same, uh, actually, uh, we're on right now, Tenasket at Brewster. Win or lose today, also play again Saturday to earn a trip to regionals. Well, Quincy and Cascade punched their tickets to the state AB soccer tournament with wins yesterday. Taking a look at the Les Schwab scoreboard, the Jets blanked Bridgeport 4-0, while Cascade shut out Manson 5-0 in the district playoffs. In other action, Brewster blanked Cashmere 1-0, while Okanagan got by Chelan by a final of 4-1. The next round will be in Quincy Saturday, with Okanagan facing Bridgeport in a loser-out game at 1 o'clock. That's followed by Brewster and Manson in a loser-out contest at 3. Cascade and Quincy will play for the district championship at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, speaking of district championships, the District 6 4 a title will be settled tonight at Lee Bofto Field at the Apple Bowl as Wenatchee hosts Eastmont. We'll have it live here on the NCW Life.
Live Channel beginning with uh, a little bit before 7 o'clock. Sebastian Braga and Neil Oyston on the call. Panthers won both meetings with the Cats earlier this season. 3-2 in the Apple Bowl and 2-0 at Eastmont. The other district playoff game features Eisenhower at Sunnyside at 6 o'clock. The winner of that game will face the loser of Wenatchee and Last Chance State coming up this weekend. Well, full sing is on tap Saturday at Wenatchee Valley's Super Oval. That's right, the Outlaw Oval Challenge, and uh, we'll have it live on the NCW Live channel. This will be the fourth race of the season at WVSO, and track manager Jeremy Anders says it's been going well so far. We kicked off the next weekend, had a great crowd for the Tommy Wentz Classic, great car counts, great racing action on the track. Um, and that was on April 23rd. Then April 30th, May 1st, one of our biggest weekends of the year uh, is the Leonard Evans weekend, which we have pro late models and super late models, legend cars. Our pits were packed all the way. We used pretty much every pit stall we had out there. Um, the parking lot was packed, great crowds. Weather kind of made it a little tough to get through the weekend. We had a couple of hiccups here and there with weather wise on the Saturday for sure. The Sunday was beautiful weather, but uh, the racing on the track was really good. So, so far it's been great. We've had uh, some improvements we made up here. You know, we painted the track walls white. Uh, we've added some uh, new flavor around. So um, we have more things we're trying to do throughout the season here at the track and, and get things going. But uh, yeah, we're heading right into the season. Uh, May is a, a kind of a so-so month for us. We've got a couple of races here and then June's a really busy month for us. Now, typically the Outlaws race in a figure eight pattern over in Monroe at Evergreen Speedway. This will be the second time for them to come over to race on the quarter mile asphalt at WVSO. You're going to see uh, quite a few different types of trees come here. Like that. Um, uh, I'll quote one of the great racers, one called them, they call them the alien race cars. They just look so unique. They are like a, look like a modified, like an open wheel modified mixed with a stock car, mixed with like a wing sprint car. They just kind of look really unique like that. And so uh, they are just a unique chassis. They're made to go right and left, you know, um, that they have huge horsepower engines. They're longer chassis like that. So last year we saw some cars. It was their first time here, so they learned some stuff. This year, I think with uh, a few of them have a few races under their belts, a coming here some few laps i think that this year we should see some faster track times on them um i, I hear like last year we only had about nine or ten cars i'm hearing this year we're going to have like 13 or 14 so it should be really exciting i think a couple of our modified guys are going to take some of their bigger tires they have and put some on there so you know usually like you'll see them our modifieds race on like an eight inch tire our modifieds are going to toss on some, like some 12 inch tires so it's uh that's extra four inches of track you know that you grab around the track so yeah the Outlaws, you see that big thing on the side of the car. That's a big wing, kind of a billboard as well. Saturday's action will also include the Rockstar Energy B Mods, Plum Perfect Roadrunners, and Northwest Pro 4 Trucks. Gates open at 4.30. Racing starts at 6. You can go to WVSO.com to find out more about the racing and to get tickets. We'll have, of course, the race here live on the NCW Life Channel. I'll be joined by Greg Rents. So if you cannot attend, you can watch it right here on TV as well as our website and our Facebook page. That's a look at sports news. I'm Eric Gray. Grant Sturm Grant, back to you. To do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. Hey everyone, Fletcher and Amy Ellingson here from Live It Up. Join us every week as we answer your questions on health, wealth, and relationships. We're all about you creating a life that you love, so tune in to Live It Up. With TV advertising, what we want to do is more deeply connect with the community. People spot me in different parts around North Central, you know, Costco and Wenatchee say, hey, you're the pizza guy. And so they wouldn't know that if it weren't for the, for the TV commercials we've done. We've been here so long that people already know who we are and what we do, but to have that image flash on their television screen as opposed to just hearing in the radio or seeing in the newspaper. I just love the fact that we can actually put our finger on when a customer comes in and says, I saw your ad. It's becoming increasingly difficult in this digital age to know where are your customers listening or watching, because I watch all the different channels that they watch too, like Cooking Channel, History Channel, and so it was wonderful to be able to be on there. I would say that uh, if you wanna do business in Wenatchee, then you should connect with the people of Wenatchee, and there's no better way to do that than with NCW Life. NCW Life really does a great job of exposing our brand. It's a little scary at first, right? You, you're just throwing money out there hoping it comes back. 
uh, and to see those results come back through and see people walk through the door and say, hey, saw your, uh, saw your TV advertisement. Um, those are the kinds of things that you see the return on. And when you look at the cost spent, uh, you know you're making a return on it. There's a huge market here and market potential, and they are a great avenue for that.